Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a portable on-demand hot water heater. You can use something like this for, well, an emergency when you need hot water and you don't have electricity. You know, the grid is down. You can use it for when uh, the kids are playing in the pool and you don't want them running through the house. They can just shower off at the pool. I like to use it to wash the dog outside. But it's very simple. I used a dolly just to be able to move it around easily. It has wheels, a handle, and that flat plate that will hold the propane bottle. I mounted a three-quarter inch piece of plywood and this is a Gasland on-demand hot water heater for camping and they're about $135. It was the cheapest one I could find online and they're very easy to hook up. Let me show you what it came with and how easy it was to put together. It came with the uh, valve and the hose and it just gets threaded to the first coupling. Okay. The second coupling was for the shower head and that also came with it. Now what didn't come with it is the garden hose and normally that just gets threaded to the third coupling. Okay. But I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to use municipal water if I had it and I also wanted to be able to have a cistern and pull it out of a, a bucket if I had to or a garbage can. Um, the valving is simple. If I'm using the municipal side, I just shut off the valve to the pump. And if it's the uh, pump, I just shut off the municipal side. And over here are two D size batteries that are used for the ignition of the gas. And over here is the electric pump. It's a sure flow. I'll have it in the description. But the most important part is 3.5 gallon per minute. You want a low number for that. Uh, let me just turn it around for you and show you what I got on the back. This isn't necessary, but I, I, I like the idea. This is a 12 volt DC power supply and it allows me to just plug it into the house or into the jackery to power that uh, DC pump. Now you don't need this. You could put alligator clips on the wires and just hook it up to your car battery if you wished. But I like this idea. That'll also be in the description. So let me just show you real quick how easy it is. You turn on the gas you plug in your DC power pack into the jackery right here. Let's make sure that the municipal side is off and the pump side is open. And it just ignited. I have hot water and we're drawing 84 watts, 83, 84 watts off the jackery. That's all there is to it. Very simple to put together. And if you want one, I, I don't think you'll have any trouble really, really doing it. It's very simple. I'll catch you on the next one.